I'm not going to waste a bunch of time to start our number two because we have a fantastic guest. Number 99, Titans legend Jarrell Casey is here with us on 104.5 The Zone. We're so happy to have him as a part of the show today. The 12th Titan at Nissan Stadium ahead of this playoff game between the Titans and the Bengals is here with us right now. What's going on, Jarrell? What's up? I'm doing good. Can't complain at all, man. Just living life, being blessed. No question about it. So, I, one, uh, when when did they approach you about doing this ahead of the playoff game? Because this has got to be a pretty big deal for you, no? Uh, definitely. It's huge, you know, to uh, definitely just be able to retire. And they're they thinking of me to come back and honor them for one of the biggest games um, for this franchise. Definitely is huge. Um, so, um, it was a little bit earlier in, in the week, um, last week, and they reached, uh, they reached out and asked if I loved to be the 12th man. They would love to have me, and it definitely was a no-brainer, you know. Definitely couldn't miss this opportunity. Was already planning on coming to the game already off the of GP, so it definitely was great to be able to come back and uh, be able to be a 12th man. So that's definitely even bigger. Yeah, it's it's going to be really cool, and I know the fans are excited to see. I mean, this is this is home playoff games here in Nashville, Tennessee, the last couple of years, that, that that almost sounds like a foreign concept after a while. But this is something for somebody like you, Jarrell. I mean, how proud proud of you are of, from the way that this organization has kind of come along for all of the great things that you did while you were here to kind of culminate now as the top seed in the AFC. I love it. You know, uh, just the, the biggest thing, you know, the last few years have been there, just starting to be able to get the, the winning records, getting into the playoffs. Um, has been big, you know, and these guys have just carried the torch and cup it pushing, and they've done it for the last two years, getting to the playoffs and making a run in it. So that's a, that's, that's a big thing, you know. These guys are now starting to bring that winning tradition around. You know, Vrabel and John have done a good job building a good core over there, getting some good guys who can come in and buy into the system. As you can see this year, they had over, what, 90-something people come in and play on their roster? 91. <laughs> and business position. It's beautiful. So, you know, those guys are doing some great work over there. So, I know I know you were at the uh, at the game in L.A. where the Titans kicked the Rams' ass on Sunday night football. How? how Unreal. What, what if, well, yeah, I mean, that game, you talk about what Jeff Simmons has done in his uh, in his couple of years now that he's been here, <laughs> Danico Autry, how much he's helped the rest of the defensive line. And, and Harold, what have, what have you made of your former teammates this season? Man, they have been some some dogs out there, man. Some it's been beautiful to watch them. You know, I didn't see no young guys who have been there. And Simmons came in, got to play play the the year with him, and he 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 already showed he was going to be a beast. That that, that was um, um, visual from day one. And so to have somebody like that present to come in and step in, well, it's beautiful to solidify your middle. And then you had his here um, Landry, someone who's been there for a few years uh, with me. I have seen him work. I seen how he came in as a rook. With the right mindset, straight business. A guy who came in very professional, was ready to work, was ready to learn. When you have guys like that as a young, that's young, that leads your group, it, it just makes the game that much easier for you, for you to coach and make guys around you to fill in and, and, and make plays. And so those guys are going at being great leaders for that front four. And as long as they keep carrying that torch, I think Tennessee going to have a great front and for a long time coming. Titans legend Jarrell Casey is here with us on 104.5 The Zone. Make sure you get there early because Jarrell is the 12th Titan. He's going to be swinging the sword at midfield before this thing gets officially kicked off between Tennessee and the Cincinnati Bengals. So with that being said, Jarrell, I mean, you are somebody who played here, who had a fantastic career here as an interior defensive lineman. What Jeff is doing reminds me, maybe, maybe different styles, maybe different traits, but what Jeff is doing here reminds me a lot of how great you were for the Titans defenses while you were playing. And I was shocked, borderline offended on behalf of the city of Nashville that this man was not elected to the Pro Bowl. What did you make of that? Unreal. I thought I definitely thought he would have been um, inside the Pro Bowl. But, you know, this is how the game goes when, you, when you're a young guy inside a young in a market that's not as strong. People don't give you that much of a recognition. And, you know, people around the league, uh, you know, you can get the fan votes as he was the number one fan voter, uh, be tackle. But outside of that, you you know, you, the players and the coaches not giving you the recognition yet. He's going to get there. He's definitely built it, leaving his mark. It just reminded me of my, my, my first year going into the Pro Bowl, being snubbed and didn't get in and things like that. Um, it's just part of the game. You know, you got to, you got to you earn your stripes. You keep building. At the, end of the game, at the end of the day, this game is not made for just Pro Bowls. You're trying to build a legacy for a time 
coming and being consistent is going to make him be there for years after years. So you might even get this year, but hey, ten years from down the line, he'd be a ten-time Pro Bowler. Who knows? We we will certainly see. Titans legend Darrell Casey is here with us on 104.5 The Zone. Darrell, you bring up the the market and and playing in Nashville and and how that can be you know uh, underrated basically from a standpoint of the people who decide things like this. There is precious little Titans. We're local, all right? So we talk about, I talk, I've got a three-hour radio show. I'm talking about the Titans for basically two two hours and 45 minutes today. That's what I got on the docket. But I turn on Sports yeah. Center. I don't see Titans talk. We, we've got friends who come on from the NFL Network. They're talking about what the Dallas Cowboys are doing in the offseason. And I, I was reading this article today, Jarrell, that Nashville's the biggest media market left in the AFC. At this point, it's bigger than Kansas City. It's bigger than Cincinnati, and it's bigger than Buffalo, New York. Why are the Titans so disrespected? Why are we disrespected? Yes, only, only history tells itself. Only history, only history can tell itself. That's the only reason why. You know, at the end of the day, this game is about winning. We, you got to get there. You got to be able to prove that you 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 deserve to be there. And you know, we're starting to leave that mark. We're starting to get there. We're starting to build that. But it's going to take time, and that's what this game is about. Take being patient, leaving your mark on the game, being consistent. And I think for the last three years, Tennessee has been consistent. They're leaving that mark, and it's only going to be time that we're going to start getting that respect after we go and do our thing this year. God is willing. Jarrell Casey is here with us on 104.5 The Zone. The the opponent this weekend, the Cincinnati Bengals, Jarrell, I don't know how much of you or, or how much of them you have seen, but Joe Burrow is definitely a young stud quarterback their offensive line isn't great Quentin Spain who played here for a couple of years is a part of that group but they've definitely struggled as far as protection is concerned what stands out to you about this matchup it's definitely going to be a great fight I think you know the offense can, can be daily with that quarterback and wide receiver duel I think you know Joe Mitchell get in there and stuff and getting his thing together they definitely could do their thing you know uh but there's a strong defense who sound who's well well mind sounded no game plan Gonna get after you up front. He cover on the back end. When you have an all around defense like that, you know, you, you got to have an all complete offense. And um, I think that's where we get the upper hand at. But at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to all three phases: how well our special teams do, how well our defense do, and also how well the offense do. As long as everybody come out prepared and clicking on all senators, I don't see how we can be slowed down. Well, it's going to be interesting because Derrick Henry, who hasn't played since October at this point, is expected to play in this game. Jarrell, you've seen him since he was drafted here, the player that he's become. It seemed like he was en route to do something really, really special before that foot injury kind of, you know, I mean, did shut him down for the rest of the regular season. What, How how impressed are you with just, just the player that Derek has become? Because, you know, being behind DeMarco Murray in those early years, it seemed like legitimate adversity for him that he had to work through, and I think he's done a spectacular job, no? Definitely. He's done an amazing job. And that's just like you go again, back to the patience. You know, the game's about patience. Waiting your time, knowing when it's, when it's time to explode. And, yeah, it's frustrating being a first-round draft pick and not getting the, the rest you feel you should get. But, you know, he was patient. He kept his mind He kept his mind to the grind. He didn't let it get, get to his head. He didn't pout about it. He, 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 he fought through it. And when it was his opportunity, he took advantage of it. And that guy he set records and done unbelievable things. And he kept, he, he kept, the, he kept his mind sane. And that's the biggest thing you can ask for from a, a young running back as great as him is keeping his mind sane and keeping his body fresh as possible to go out there and keep putting up numbers. As we know, when Derrick Henry is healthy, he's going to be a problem. So it's great to have him back. Uh, we're getting a lot of we've, – we've got the show live stream, so we've got a live YouTube chat going. People are tweeting us. The Tennessee Titans would what's not – What's up? What's up? Tighten up, baby. Hey, why, why don't you what, – what is your message to Titans fans this weekend, Jarrell? Because I'm getting tweets like the Tennessee Titans would not be where they are this weekend without Jarrell Casey. You are such a foundational piece of where this franchise is and has been, Jarrell. What, what would you like to say to the fans? I really appreciate that, but it's not about me. You know, these guys, these guys out there putting that work in, these guys are doing it with a whole group of missing pieces, and that's what this game is about. We need y'all to bring y'all juice this week, bring that energy, bring that fire, piss, piss some fire under y'all tails, and let's get it going. These guys are ready to roll, and I know they're going to be at it. They're going to be hitting guys in the mouth, flying around, and, you know, Brave going to have those guys rolling. So let's just make sure everybody's bringing that juice. Get the crowd rocking. I want to hear vibrations. I want to feel it underneath my feet. 
or instead of stadium rocket. That's what game playoff environment is about. Let's make sure we bring that to Tennessee. It's certainly going to be a fantastic environment at Nissan Stadium. A toe tag, body bag celebration before you All stick the. the are you you doing it before you stick the sword in the ground? What, what's the form? What's that going to look like? You, you know, you know, I can't walk off the field without a body bag. <laughs> you know, I can't walk off the field without a body bag. It's definitely going down. Hey, Jarrell, it's been a pleasure to chat with you, buddy. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoy the game. I'll probably see you out there Saturday, and thanks for stopping by. I know the fans really appreciate it. Appreciate y'all for having me. Appreciate it. That's Jarrell Casey, Titans legend, there with us on 104.5 The Zone. Man, it's good to talk to that guy. That's, you know, when you, when you, because we did have, uh, we've got a lot of responses on social media about this and and certainly so Robert Lawrence was the person who sent us that tweet about the Titans not being where they are without Jarrell Casey as a franchise and that is so I I feel that in my soul Jarrell when you talk about the guys who helped keep this thing afloat for all the bad all the bad football that there was between you know different eras of Titans football different regimes before you finally got to the place where you have been in the last four years under John Robinson and Mike Vrabel Jarrell Casey was one of those stabilizing forces like we talked about with Ryan Tannehill. So we'll get into the conversation because the phone lines are still loaded. People want to weigh in on the Titans quarterback. We'll do that. Coming up next, if you want to if you want to react to that Jarrell Casey interview, he was uh, he's always great. I miss having that guy in the locker room, man. Man, I miss being in locker rooms. I haven't been in a locker room in two years, Lucas. Isn't that crazy that is? I think the last time I asked a Titans player a question in a presser was Jarrell Casey. I mean, he. I, I miss. I miss the transparency from Jarrell. Your phone calls coming up next. We'll get into it. Six one five seven three seven one zero four five. That's the number. I'm Buck Rising. It's one zero four five. The Zone.